I don't, I don't have, I don't know what I want to see in this video. I just want to reach out with a, reach out to other people with Chiari malformation. Um, my sleep issue is absolutely unbearable. I'm not a hundred percent sure if my sleep issue is actually, um, from carry malformation. I have severe apnea now. I've got, I've had CPAP for four years. I would say 20 years ago I was sleeping um, five hours a night. 15 years ago I was sleeping four hours a night. 10 years ago I started sleeping three hours a night. Six years ago, uh, uh, you know, being given every sleep medication there is. Uh, one of the huge problems is they neglected to assess me for um, for sleep apnea, and they kept on trying to uh, insist that the sleep issue is anxiety or trauma or whatever. They try, you know, tried to insist that it was a psych issue. So medications and um, every medication out there I've tried for sleep. They've even tried to give me phenobarbital and stuff. Um, so six years ago, I went to bed one night. I woke up. I started sleeping one hour every 24 hours or two hours every 24 hours. Um literally f fighting for my life prior to that prior to waking up and, and starting sleeping only one or two hours a night my life was already pretty much gone um and it, sleeping three hours a night for years unable to work unable to drive most of the time um after years of being that sleep deprived unable to do yard work. When I started sleeping one or two hours every 24 hours, I stopped house cleaning. It became just um, survival. And that meant getting food, cooking food, literally, um, you know, fighting not to lose my mind and fighting to continue fighting to keep going and not understanding that I had Kiari. They found my Kiari, I think in 2009 and told me, well, you have this thing, but go home and don't worry about it. And I sort of feel like they just watched me decline as they continued to tell me that it was a mental health issue, which I don't believe it was a mental health issue. Um, I wonder if chronic prescribing of medications made it get to that point. So that continued for over four years. I slept only one or two hours a night. I weaned off the medications I was on. Weaning off of two different medications almost killed me. Um, brain damage, nervous system damage, your nerve damage, neuropathy, breathing issues. The sleep apnea escalated into a crisis situation and I finally, finally, it wasn't just a, a fight to the death almost to get diagnosed with sleep apnea. So, um, months ago, I had, you know, several months ago, I started sleeping two and a half, three and a half hours, only every 24 hours. Um, it, it's unbearable to, I was going to say live like this. I'm not living. I'm waiting for help that's not coming. 
it's hard to be here. Every day it's unbearable. Um, I'm too sick to travel. Uh, I, 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 I'm not making money. I can't, you know, I, I can't even do a, uh, a consult, consult. Um, Dr. Bolognese in New York has my copies of my first two, um, brain MRIs. My um, uh, cerebr cerebellum tonsils are at 9 and 11 millimeters. The neurosurgeons here don't think that the issue is from Chiari. Maybe they think the ish, maybe they think that medications were. I wonder if medications had turned on me and, you know, now had destroyed my sleep. I don't know, because they can eradicate, you know, eradicate, you know, they, they can make you, s I, I was no longer going into REM sleep or deep sleep, and, um, you know, I was having no REM or no deep sleep. I was sleeping literally one hour a night or two hours every 24 hours, day, 365 days a year. Now I'm five years off one of the medications. I am three years off the other medication. I, I don't take anything for sleep. I'm sleeping two and a half or three and a half hours a night. I was hoping that weaning off the medications, I would start sleeping again. I'm five years and three years off those last sleep medications. And I'm in hell. I know of one other person with Kiari who, you know, they s stopped sleeping and, you know, they locked him up in a psych ward and then discovered he had Kiari and they gave him the surgery. I really want surgery. They won't do it for me. I really can't do this by myself. Not without a family, not without hands-on help. I'm way too sick to travel to uh, do any of this. Bolognis has my two MRIs. I've never spoken to him. Um, I couldn't fill out the forms. He has a wonderful, huge, comprehensive list of questions. I, I, I was in touch with his office a couple of years ago, but was too ill. I was only sleeping one or two hours a night too ill to follow up. Been fighting with local neurosurgeons. I want fighting to try to get help. They're not saying much. They're saying they think they don't think it's the Chiari. I think it is. I don't know. I'm feeling like I probably won't survive. I'm putting this out here um, Kiari malformation has a high, high suicide rate. Um, you know, and as we know, some of the surgeries don't turn out as planned. There can be lots of complications. I am, um, I assume I'm not going to survive um, I sort of feel like I should tell my story through video in the Kiari community I don't know what else to say uh, I feel like I don't want to say anything that might get my my video deleted this situation is unbearable. Um, I don't know what else to say. I just feel like I this needs to be somewhere in a video. Um, they've tried to tell me it is um, 
from trauma? I don't believe, I might be wrong, but I really don't believe that, you know, when this started, when six years ago, when I started sleeping one hour a night or two hours a night, nothing came along. Like there was no event. There was no medication, no virus, no, no, no new trauma or anything that came along. I just, I, I woke up one day and I started sleeping one hour a night, like literally the fight for my life was on. And, um, I don't believe things could get this bad just because of trauma. Um, you know, there are people who have witnessed crimes. They've witnessed murders, horrific, horrific, unspeakable trauma to the point where they, you know, completely dissociate or lose their minds. I've not heard of one person stopping sleeping because of trauma. I've heard of millions of people having trouble sleeping. I've not heard of someone sleeping one hour a night or two hours a night, 365 days a year, year after year because of some trauma, like literally proving that in the hospital. So I don't believe it's trauma. I don't, if that were true, dro and, and droves and droves of, of soldiers with PTSD would be ending their lives. I think if they were sleeping one hour a night or two hours a night only, people are usually sleeping far more than they think they are. I think, and, and lots of people do end their lives from PTSD, but that's not my point. My point is I've never heard of someone stopping, you know, sleeping one hour a night, two hours a night, 365 days a year because of, of complex PTSD. I don't think that's possible. People crash, they end up crashing and sleeping and sleeping. It hasn't happened with me. I think it's my carry malformation. And I really, I really, I'm scared I'm not going to survive.